This video is inspired by uh, the work of motion by uh, Vincent in Instagram, so you can uh, go check his work and uh, follow him. Hello guys, this is Migo. In this video, I will show you how to make this type of animation in a blender using geometry nodes. So let's uh, do a new project. So let's add a plane like this. Let's kill it. Let's kill it li uh, like this. And uh, we need to, be uh, to apply the scale. And we need to bevel those uh, vertices. Press Ctrl B and V. And uh, we can bevel them like this until uh, they uh, will be smooth. Okay. Now we need to add uh, a solidify modifier like this. We need some thickness here. And we need some bevel modifier and adjust uh, the bevel like this and maybe three segments and set this, uh, this shape to uh, auto smooth like this now we have our card we need to uh, maybe make it a little bit thinner like this okay nice now you can uh, you can use this card or uh, apply a material or texture to this card i will just do a simple material so uh, we don't waste uh, a lot of time okay like this you know you can just uh, select this uh, this face and uh, uv unwrap it and put a texture here and uh, uv unwrap this face uh, down and put another texture here but i will not do that uh, so we can work uh, we can make this tutorial uh, shorter so before we jump to the geometry nodes we need to make something to this card because if we rotate it like this, it will rotate in the middle, like this. And it, if we rotate like this, it will rotate in the middle. But we need it to, to rotate from here, from this uh, angle or this edge. So we need to uh, go to the go to the sh to the uh, edit mode and select everything and go to the top view and move everything until uh, our uh, our origin hits this uh, edge here. So now, if ro if we rotate now, uh, see how it will rotate from this edge. Uh, that's what we need for uh, for our animation to work. So let's name this card and let's move it aside a little bit. Let's add a new plane and let's call this uh, geo because we're going to apply our geometry nodes to this plane. So let's go to the geometry nodes and uh, let's uh, join this like this. And we need a new geometry nodes in this plane and we need to pin it right here. And uh, and yes, we need to uh, we need to cut this. And we need to add it a, a circle curve or curve circle and plug this node here and now we have uh, the control of the radius and uh, the resolution of this uh, of this circle so we can like go uh, high resolution or we can scale or uh, reduce the radius now we need to convert this uh, curve cir circle to points so we need the uh, points on curve or curve to points curve points node and plug it right here and now we have ca our counts we, uh, we can change it from here we can uh, change the the count of the points from here and now we need to instance our card into those points so we need uh, the instance on points uh, node and plug it right here and now we need to uh, drag our card from there to here and we need to uh, connect this geometry into the instance now see uh, we have our cards our cards but they are uh, like colliding we need to scale them uh, to scale them a little bit from here from this uh, let's scale them a little bit like this now we need them to be rotated uh, in uh, in the direction of the of the points so let's uh, steal this rotation from here and put it right here okay guys see now how, how they are like uh, rotate uh, rotate uh, like vertically now we can uh, now we what we need we need some uh, some uh, uh, some rotation control of this uh, of those uh, cards so we need uh, a node that called the uh, geometry transfer or transfer geometry and we need uh, this node to be here between this curve points and these points so now we can rotate like this and we can rotate like this and we can rotate like this okay uh, and we need to duplicate this one more time so we need it to be here so we can rotate every instance like this see another type of rotation it's very different from this rotation see see it's very different see how this rotate and see how this rotate so basically this uh, this uh, node rotate the 
rotate the cards with this node rotate the whole uh, the whole points like this see now we need the another same node we need to duplicate it but we need it to be here so we can rotate in uh, like uh, the whole thing like this and we need to uh, rotate it in the x i think or the y maybe in the x we need to rotate it like 90 degree so uh, we get uh, something uh, facing our camera now we can play with those rotation maybe we need to scale the radius like this see guys now we can uh, what we can do with this all controls we can uh, let's see let's go let's bring uh, no let's uh, split this vertically like this let's see okay nice now we need just a timeline now what we need to do is just uh, put some keyframes for this uh, for, for from this we need to rotate it like this or like this and put some keyframes from this uh, from this uh, from these values like this so let's uh, to put some keyframes we need to add a node combine xyz and plug it right here and we need another one here and let's plug it into the rotation let me zoom in a little bit we need to plug this into this rotation okay guys now what we need to do is just add some keyframes to this uh, to this uh, z axis or this y axis or this x axis let's say we we need it to be we need our animation to be like this we need to put a keyframe right here let's select this so we can see our keyframes and you know we, we can go uh, like maybe 180 frames like this and duplicate this keyframe here and uh, maybe go to the 80 and rotate it a little bit like this and put keyframe and let's see now see how it it will move now we can play with this uh, with this y axis maybe uh, we put keyframe here in the y axis and let's uh, duplicate the same let me uh, put keyframe here in the y axis and uh, let's go here and let's put the same keyframe in the end so it uh, will have like some uh, some some animation like a loop so it start from here and end from here in the same position and we can go to the 80 or uh, maybe 100 and we can like uh, play with this maybe like this let's see let's I put keyframe right here and see see guys it's not perfect because i'm not uh, like uh, i'm not trying to make it perfect here i'm just showing you how to how to make uh, this uh, this type of animation and you can uh, even rotate in the z like this and maybe you put keyframe here and go here and like do like this put keyframe here and you can play with it like uh, as you want and you can rotate uh, you can rotate from this uh, this uh, geometry here, uh, or this node here you can rotate uh, like this in the in the y axis maybe let's put uh, keyframe right here and let's go in the way uh, 180 and let's put like uh, 360 in the we said in the y so let's put it uh, here in the y uh, 360 like this replace keyframe let's see right now see how our, uh, our animation looking guys you can do like uh, a limited uh, type of animation with this uh, with these nodes and you can uh, rotate from here like this or like this see you can play with it as you like and do uh, very crazy stuff with this setup and for the in in my video i did like uh, some random materials uh, changing so let's make this uh, we need uh, we need to uh, select our card and assign another material to this card maybe like uh, let's say the, let's say red and uh, let's say another material maybe blue like this we need them all to be in the same card here and we need to select this and we need uh stored store name it attribute node like this and we need to uh, first uh, realize uh, know that call realized instances that's it we need this node to be here and we need to change this from point to instances and we need to name this like something maybe mat material and we need an index node like this uh, we need an index node 
and you need to plug this index here in the value and we need to change this from flow to a vector like this and uh, plug this uh, into the value like this and we need uh, and we need another node uh, set material index and put it right here so if we uh, if we uh, change this value see how we can see our materials that we assign to this card like this see guys now we need just to randomize them by using uh, let's say random value and change this to vector like this and plug it right here and we need uh, we need a uh, node that called name it name it attribute and we need to plug this attribute here into this id and we need to recall our this uh, this node we need to recall it here so let's uh, type mat here like this and now we have three materials in this uh, in this node so basically if we go to the max uh, one it will show us only one material but if we go like two it will show us two material if we go three it will show us three materials and it will randomize them like based on uh, this seed you can run randomize them and you can play with this value if you go higher if you go higher with this value the, the first material uh, will have less chance to show in this uh, in this object if we go uh, if you go with the minimum less the higher material will have less chance to uh, less chance to uh, show in this uh, in this uh, object so uh, what i did to randomize them like uh, in my animation uh, i just did uh, a node that called uh, in time this and plug it uh, and plugged it right here like this in the seed so we have uh, this uh, this node it will animate uh, the seed every uh, second see how it will uh, change the the color every second and if you want to plug it like every frame you can do this uh, too but it will be very fast see but we can control this uh, by adding math node and we're gonna mu multiply it with uh, with a smaller number like uh, maybe 0.1 like this and let's see now it's perfect it's very slow and uh, it's very nice and uh, i forgot to said uh, to say that uh, you can control the count of the cards from here from this node you can like uh, make three or four cards uh, or go crazy with the cards like a uh, thousand <laughs> and uh, yep and you can as i said you can play with those uh, values as you like you can rotate uh, can do a lot of uh, crazy stuff with this uh, with this uh, setup and even you can uh, if you have like uh, maybe you have a product let's uh, make a quick product right here let's say uh, this is a bottle of uh, perfume maybe like this we, we need to like make the the origin down like here so we can rotate it in the like this or like this and you can uh, you can use the same setup just to remo remove this uh, remove this from cards and select this and we have our object we need to offset a little bit like this so we can see it or we can just scale it down like this and uh, let's uh, scale it a little bit like this and you can see now we have uh, we have cool animation to our product it's colliding a little bit so maybe we scale it like this see guys and we can even add the same materials to this uh, to this uh, product like this and you will get uh, random materials in uh, your product animation like this and you can rotate uh, rotate from here like this or like this you can do crazy stuff with this setup and it will works for everything just uh, make sure to to make your origin in the in the down here in uh, in the lower part and uh, i think uh, i think th that's it guys i hope you uh, learned something today from this tutorial i just want to be a quick tutorial and i see you in another tutorial see you guys